guys, happy wedding Wednesday. Today we're talking about how to prepare to start shopping for your wedding invitations. It's more than just cold calling a whole bunch of suppliers asking how much are wedding invitations. Instead, you want to have be prepared with a bunch of information that you can provide to your stationer. Therefore, they can give you the most accurate pricing that is possible. So I've put together a quick little blog on our website. You can visit it at www.thepolka.papershop.com. Click blog at the top and it'll give you all of the information I'm giving you here but written out so you can reference it later. So step number one, and this sounds kind of obvious, but you really need to know how many people you're inviting to your wedding. It can make a really big difference per piece if you're gonna be ordering 150 invitations, 200 invitations, that sort of thing. So take a look at how many people you are inviting and then figure out how many invitations you're gonna need. Because remember, you're not gonna be sending one per person. You're probably gonna be sending one per couple or one per family. If you are, here's my quick little magic number. If you are going to be ordering under 200 invitations, you're probably going to need 60% of your guest list. If you're going to be ordering over 200 invitations, you're probably going to only need 50% of your guest list. The reason being, the more people you're inviting to your wedding, the higher the likelihood is that you're going to be inviting numerous people with one invitation. Example, large households or families with lots of children, whereas smaller weddings tend to have more restrictive guest lists that don't involve children um, or large families. So that's step number one, figure out how many invitations you need. Step number two is figure out what you need from your invitation and what your guests need from your invitation. So you need to figure out um, what kind of information you need to put out there beyond the obvious where you're getting married, when, and who. Um, but you need to know, for example, how many guests they're going to bring, who they're going to bring, do they have any dietary restrictions, that sort of thing. And then you also want the guests to know any unusual information. For example, say you're getting married in a forest and it's a one kilometer walk from the parking lot to the forest. You might want to mention, hey, you should probably wear appropriate footwear. Or if you're having a very religious ceremony, you may want to point out that this is a religious ceremony, therefore dress appropriately. Um, and custom stationers, we do have some ways around that. You don't have to say it straight out. So you want to figure that out because really you only have the one opportunity to talk to your guests before the actual wedding day and you don't want to have to send out some kind of awkward amendment when you realize, uh, oops, I should have asked this. So that's step number two, figure out what you need and what they need. Step number three is you need to know what kind of enclosure, if any, that you're going to want. If you're going to be sending a ton of invitations overseas, you may want to avoid enclosures because each invitation going over the ocean is going to cost you a lot more than if it was a flat invitation with no enclosure. I'm talking about pocket folds, pocket cards, gate folds, laser cuts, this sort of thing. If you have a ton of inserts and you're sending everything domestically, you probably want to have a pocket which would hold all your inserts neat and tidy in one place. Step number four, this is an important one. Figure out what your must-have list is and what your nice-to-have list is. So must-haves would include things like anything that's vital to your invitation. For example, you want to have an RSVP card that people are going to be mailing back. You want to have an RSVP card and an RSVP envelope. Whereas if it's not really vital to you that you have foil pressing, maybe it is because that could be a deal breaker. But if it's not vital to you, then you can put foil pressing on your nice-to-have list. Therefore, when you send off your quote request to any invitation supplier, you can say, hey, this is my list of things that I have to have, and this is the list of things that I would like to have. Please quote these items, the must-have, as one list, and then you can quote all these other nice-to-have items as a kind of a la carte thing. Therefore, you can figure out, hey, if it's my budget, I'll add it in. And then the next thing you want to figure out, step number five, that's what your rough budget is. You don't have to know exactly how much money you want to spend on these, but it's pretty easy to look at your overall wedding budget and figure out, I have $1,000 left to spend on wedding invitations. So maybe that's your budget. Maybe you want to leave a little bit more wiggle room and say my budget is $800. One good way to figure out exactly what your invitations are, where your budget lies with reality is contact a couple of stationers and say, hey, how much is it for your lowest cost invitation for 100 invitations? They can probably give you a rough idea on where the prices start, and you can check to see if this lines up with reality. And then step number six, really super easy. Any screenshots you've taken of other invitations you love, of any inspiration pictures of your venue, decor, anything, send that along to your stationer with a quote request as well because that gives a really good idea of what you're looking for and what your personal style is. Even if you don't know what it is you like about that invitation, make sure you send it as well because it's quite possible we can figure it out Whereas because we see these all day and you don't know. So those are my steps. Go check it out on the blog, www.thepolka.papershop.com. Click blog and you'll be able to see that as well as a couple of other information that you might want to see as well. So that's it. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye.